Yes, sir. How may I help you? A one-way ticket to Seattle, please. Can I offer you an open return ticket, sir? No, it's an extended vacation. Your name, sir? Dan Cooper. Do you have any baggage to check in? No. That'll be $20, please. Your flight 305 is departing from uh, gate 52. It's running half an hour late, so you're leaving at 3 o'clock. Happy Thanksgiving, Mr. Cooper. Flight 305 to Seattle is now open for general boarding. Northwest Airlines Flight 305 to Seattle is an open seating flight. All passengers, please board now. This is Captain Scott speaking. On behalf of your flight crew, First Officer Ratazic and Second Officer Anderson, I'd like to thank you for flying Northwest Airlines this afternoon. Our stewardesses, Tina and Florence, will be giving a beverage service. We should be landing in Seattle at 3.30. It should be a smooth and easy flight. Once again, thank you for flying Northwest Airlines. Everything checks out for flight here. How about you, Harold? She's been running fine since Minneapolis, and there's no sign of change. Good. How about you, Will? Everything looks fine here. Let's get this show back on the road. All right, boys, this should be an easy 30-minute flight. It'll be a milk run. Portland, Northwest Delivery, 305. Northwest, 305, Portland Delivery, go ahead. Portland, Northwest Delivery, on ground at gate 5-2, ready for taxi. Northwest, 305, Portland ground, cleared for taxi. Tower, Portland, Northwest Delivery, flight 305, holding short, 2-8 right, ready for takeoff. Northwest. 305, Portland Tower cleared for takeoff, wind 260 at 7.
watch this closely. All I've got to do is touch the end of this wire to this terminal. Just do as I say and nobody can get hurt. I want you to write this down. Seattle, we see two hundred thousand dollars in used bills in a knapsack. Four parachutes, two chest, two back. Then the plane will be refueled, after which the passengers go free. At the first sight of police, they will destroy the plane. We must take off from the airport. Captain, someone's seen an emergency on the interphone. Do you think they know what it means? Someone probably spilled their juice all over back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you should check it out anyway. Yes, sir. Rat Tazic here. What is it? We're being hijacked. Th this is no joke. A man in the last row has a bomb. You're kidding. A man in the 18th row has a bomb. You're pulling my leg, Florence, and I don't think it's very funny. I'm serious. I wouldn't joke about this. Greg, we're going to Cuba. He doesn't want to go to Cuba. What does he want then? 200 grand and four parachutes. So we'll be back. Don't worry. Don't worry, Tina. He'll be okay. Flo must have gotten lost, so I'll sit here for a while. I want you to sit here and relay messages on the interphone. You tell them everything I say. And don't try anything funny. First, I want my note back and my envelope. Okay, I'll go get them. Florence, get a pen and some paper ready. Write down what we say and when it was said. Doesn't the black box do that? No, the CVR races every 30 minutes. If something happens to us, I want people to know what happened. Get some headphones on. Will, you're handling the situation fine. Florence, let the record show that while Anderson and I pilot the plane, Ratasic negotiated with the hijacker. He wants his note and envelope back. What's happening back there? He's just sitting back there with the bomb. He was upset that Flo didn't come back, so I sat with him. He, he wants me to relay messages to you on the interphone. OK, keep him calm at all times. I'm going to turn on the fasten seatbelt sign so nobody walks past. When you're talking to him on the interphone, keep the button down so he can hear what's being said. Headquarters to get the things you asked for. That's fine. But there better not be any funny stuff. Now, we don't have to worry about these little items. Call the cockpit and tell them to make sure Northwest knows that my money and parachutes must be delivered at SeaTac by 5 o'clock. Also tell them not to be sending any other kind of messages because my bomb is electronic, and certain signals might set it off. He says to tell headquarters that the money and parachutes have to be at SeaTac by 5. He also says not to send any other kind of message because it will set off the bomb. Okay, tell him that we understand. I will. What's he mean that any other message will set off the bomb? He probably means not to squawk the hijack code on the transponder or send a distress call. But that doesn't make any sense because their other signals would set it off as well. I know, you're right. But I don't want to call the FAA. I'll let the company handle it. You better call Minneapolis on the HF. 
Minneapolis, 305. 305, Minneapolis, go. Northwest Airlines, Chief Pilot Ali speaking. Al, it's Paul Soderlund in Minneapolis. Listen closely, we don't have much time. Flight 305 has been hijacked. The hijacker wants $200,000 and four parachutes. Uh, uh, my plane? Hijacked? What the hell? Yes, a man on board has a bomb. Uh, all right, okay, I can accept that. But if anything happens to my plane, then there's... It's your job to get it back. All right, what do you want me to do? You're going to get $200,000, two chest, and two back parachutes to SeaTac by five. How am I supposed to do that? That's up to you. All right, all right. The stuff's on its way, but this guy picked the wrong man to mess with. Hijacker's deadline is five, and he doesn't want any cops around. Keep me informed. All right, all right. If I have to go to hell and back to get this stuff for him, I'm going to do it. It's on its way. Bye. Thanks for putting the turd in my pocket. Where do you get two hundred thousand dollars before day before Thanksgiving? Miss Lamont, call a staff meeting. We've got a situation to deal with. Well, we're almost into Seattle. That looks like. Tacoma. That's Tacoma down there. Which means my money better be at SeaTac soon. Be there in five minutes. So, are you from around here? Do you have family in Seattle? Stop it. Call the cockpit and make sure my money's ready. Oh, your money will be here. Don't worry about Shut it. Shut up and find out. And I really hope, for your sake, that it's ready on time. to know about his money. It'll be there. It's coming. They're stalling. They don't know who they're dealing with. Tell them to stop jerking me around. Tina, tell them we're not messing with them. We just don't know. Flight 305, this is Flight Operation Seattle. Hold on, Tina. Tell them we'll know more about his money and the parachutes in a minute. Ground Control, this is 305. Go ahead. 305, this is Chief Pilot Ali. Is this for Tazic? Yes, sir. We need to know about the money and parachutes ASAP. The hijacker's getting nervous. Then you're not going to like this. I talked with the FBI, and they say they don't know where to get your money. All the banks are closed till Friday morning, and the vaults are locked. I'm still working on your parachutes, but it's doubtful I'm going to make the 5 o'clock deadline. We have to tell him what he wants to know. Hold on. All right. Keep him calm, or this could turn into a certified pooch screw. Where am I going to find parachutes? Parachutes. Doctors, doctors, parachutes. Wait a minute. McCord! McCord Air Force Base has got to have parachutes! Mr. Lee? Yeah, go ahead. He says we're stalling, and we better stop it or there's going to be consequences. Tell him that I'm going to, I probably have his parachutes. I'm going to McCord Air Force Base for him. Tina, tell him there's going to be a delay in this deadline. Those parachutes have to come from McCord Air Force Base. This is not what I wanted to hear right now. You and every other person on this aircraft. Captain, says McCord is only 20 minutes from the airport, and there shouldn't be a delay. Tina, keep him calm. Will, we're over Seattle. Ask him if he wants us to land. Tina, we're flying over Seattle right now. Ask him if we can land. Say, I wonder. He knows how far the Air Force Base is from the airport. You think he's from Seattle? You're probably right. Wait. Captain. Hold on, Harry. Go ahead, Tina. He says to go into a holding pattern until the money and parachutes are ready. I take her out over the sound just to be safe. I'll call the tower on it. Okay, but meanwhile we have a larger problem. What are we going to tell the passengers? How about a minor mechanical problem? That's good. I like it. Um, and we're standing in the air to burn off some fuel. No. When we get to the approach pad, I'll tell you when I want things to happen. Do you understand me? Yes. Make sure the passengers stay out of the way. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is First Officer Brad Tazic. We have developed a minor mechanical problem. We're going to have to stay in the air for a while to burn out some fuel. 
We're going to be flying some circles, so for your comfort... Please move to the forward section of the aircraft. Thank you. Yes, operator. This is the fifth time I've typed with you. I'm the chief pilot at Northwest Airlines. I'm the one who needs the parachute. Have I connected you with our jump school instructor? That was the first place I tried. I have a time crucial situation here that I need to get parachutes. How many freaking departments do I have to be shuffled through to find them? Have you tried the aircraft safety department? Yes, you connected me there just now. No one was around. The day before Thanksgiving isn't the best time to call them. Damn it, isn't anyone there? Or has the Air Force gone in the crapper since I left? This is a matter of life and death. Sir, I don't think that tone is necessary or constructive. Oh, hell! Excuse me, Mr. Lee. I'm Special Agent Ron Turner. Did I get you to bad time? Of course it's a bad time. One of my planes has been hijacked. Where's the money I need? Seattle First National has a special kidnapper's fund in a separate vault. When is it gonna get here? Listen, my best men are on it. But this money's in a vault in this main bank downtown. And with the pre-holiday rush hour, you never know. They better learn some fancy driving fast, otherwise my plane is foobar. Listen, here's a list with the, all the skydiving instructors in the Seattle area. Their phone numbers are right there. All right, there's a phone in the front office. You go start calling. Mr. Lee, I've got the money. It's all in 20s. Is it all there? Well, my agent didn't get a chance to count it, but the bank says it is. Uh, I don't want to take chances with my people's lives. Dump it out here. Your money's at the airport, but the parachutes aren't there yet. My parachutes better be there real soon. What are you going to do when the money and the parachutes are here? Hmm. Then we're going to go for a little ride. What does that mean? I told you to knock it off once. You think I'm bluffing? Captain, he's getting really jumpy. I think he's gonna let the bomb off. Okay, Tina, stay calm. Hold on one minute. Captain, we need to land this plane right now. You can run that by him. He's the one I'm taking notice from. Tina, ask him if we can land this plane and refuel while we're waiting for the parachutes. He says that we can't land until things are ready. Okay. Wait, now he says that it's a good idea. Okay, then tell him I'm landing right now. The captain says he's heading in for a landing right now. Tell the captain that I want the plane parked away from the terminal. But where there's light so I can see what's going on. I want the air stairs, the fuel truck, and the car with the parachutes and cash in it lined up 50 yards from the plane at 10 o'clock. I'd better not see any blinking lights around, or police of any kind. Okay. Looks like it's all here. Mr. Lee, the parachute trust side. All right, then let's get this stuff out to my car so I can get out to the runway. You really should let me go all the way. If worse comes to worst, you know you're going to need my help. No, he said no cops. And if he even sees the FBI, he's going to start doing stupid things, and my people's lives are going to be lost. That'll be your mistake. You're not going out there. If I have to tie your butt to this chair, you're not going. No way. Well, then maybe you should go. Ladies and gentlemen, due to our mechanical problem, we're going to have to park some distance away from the terminal. Please remain in your seats. We hope to have you off the plane very soon. Thank you. I usually like it better in the sky. But right now, I feel great here on terra firma. I'll second that. That looks like the pad we want over there. 305, flight operations. Your parachutes are here. Thank God for that. I'm on the way to the approach pad. All right, we're waiting. Flight operations out. Mr. Your parachutes are here, and they're on their way. That's good. You can have the air stairs move up to the plane now. Go get the money. Don't let anybody else aboard. I'll be watching. He wants the money first. Okay, I've got it here. Wait, he's watching, and he wants the people off the plane first. All right, you can take it then. Okay. I asked for a knapsack. <sighs> Passengers are not free to go. But you said not. Who's giving me orders around here?
make them disappear. When they leave, go get the parachutes. All right, I'll let them out. Captain? Tina says we can deploy in the passengers. Then do it. What are we waiting for? Ladies and gentlemen, you're now free to exit the aircraft. Please use the forward exit. Thank you. Let's get as many people off this plane as possible. Florence, go see if you can leave. Okay. Good luck, you guys. Thanks. Thanks. We might need it. Excuse me. I was wondering if Tina and I were free to go. We have plans for Thanksgiving. Come on, Tina, we're free. No. I think Tina should stay. I mean, I might need help with the staircase. Oh, it's really easy. You shouldn't need any help. You better go before I change my mind. I forgot to tip you when you brought me my drinks. this guy's gonna do now. It's probably a good idea to find out. Tina, do me a favor and find out where he wants to go. He says Mexico City. Oh Christ, I'm already dog tired. If he doesn't blow this plane up, I might crash it. He also wants to take off with the back air stairs down. We can't do that. There's too much turbulence. They say they can't take off with the air stairs down. That's bullshit. <sighs> it is safe. But I can put them down later anyway. Tell them to fly at 10,000 feet with the flaps and gear down. He wants to fly at 10,000 with the flaps and gears down. What do you want if the flaps set at? 15. <sighs> Looks like we're done gassing up. What the hell? Now what? What the hell's going on? Why is there another truck? They say that that truck has a frozen nozzle. Please calm down. A frozen nozzle? Please calm down. In Seattle? Who's jerking me around? Who's playing games with me? I won't stand for this. I'll blow the plane up, I Please swear. Please calm down. It takes 20 minutes to refuel a 727. Look, it's not a stall. There's the other truck. Okay, he's officially pissed. He thinks someone outside is jerking him around, and I'm inclined to agree. Okay, we might as well just stick to the job at hand. How the hell do we get to Mexico City? I have our course plotted. We can refuel in Reno. It's less populated than our other options. Will, let him know. What the hell is going on out there? Oh great, another fueling truck. We're dead. Northwest 305, this is SeaTac Ground. Our fuel truck has developed vapor lock. We are replacing it. What the hell? Vapor lock? Our passengers aren't gonna like this. Looks like we're full up on fuel. All right, then let's get the hell out of here. Tina, tell them we can take off now. They say we can take off now. Hmm. And let's get this show on the road.
door locked. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you. Slow down a little. I can't get the staircase down. Okay, I'm taking the flaps for 30. He said the air stairs down for almost 30 minutes. I bet he's jumped. I'm on the interphone. Okay. Hey, mister, this is the captain. Are you back there? Hey, mister, are you still on board? Guess not. It's a bit chilly out tonight. I don't think you'd make it. Hello? Are you having trouble with the staircase? Everything is fine now. Okay. That's it, there he goes.